What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Merry Christmas Eve on on the stream. And uh, you'll probably be watching this Thank you. Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. So, I resent catching my first live stream at the start and being called a nerd. <laughs> no, you don't. If you're any sort of fan of the stream, you have no reservation whatsoever. You know you're a nerd, Doc Man. I... <clears throat> I'm going to jump into this cube because I'm looking forward to some cube drafting. That's every day. That's every day. No, I don't. You are correct. Good. Excellent. I'm glad we're on the same page now. Smoke Doke, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Merry nearly Christmas to you, you nerd. <laughs> That's real original, buddy. Real original. Admirable. What's going on, buddy? Long time no see, sir. Always a pleasure. <clears throat> Here we go. Today is not Wednesday. Does it say Wednesday somewhere? What does that mean? This is gonna go up on Wednesday. That's what I. That's what I was saying. Oh, there we go. That's that's what it's doing. All right. That's. These hairs are like. Ugh. I hate when the part is not like super hard. Like it's on the hard part, so that like, sometimes like, nah, eh, forget it. I have no idea what to take here. Is it Eugene? I do like a Eugene. Probably more than anything else in this pack. I'm going to take the Eugene. <coughs> Ooh. Ugin. Ooh, Library of Alexandria? You're going to be passing Library? Oh, baby. Yeah, we're taking the Library of Alexandria. Hopefully this moat comes back and then we can be like some sort of white-based moat deck. Oh, God. Who passes Library, you maniacs? They probably took a power. That's just a fine. I accept that. Oh, good times, good times. Library is definitely basically power. Billy, what's going on, buddy? How are you doing? <clears throat> I feel like it's going to be a little less... Uh, a little less busy of a stream today because of Christmas Eve. People have things to do, places to go, but... Whatever. We have cards to draft. Hmm... Huh. Shackles is nice, but I don't like it with we have library as our first pick. <clears throat> Am I doing anything tomorrow? The only thing I'm doing tomorrow is just hanging out with my parents for a little bit. I don't really have super big Christmases. I don't have like a, a big... Oh, someone just scammed you for 150 Dude, Billy, so sorry, buddy. God, that sucks, man. Yeah, I don't have a big immediate family. Like, I have, like, my mom and dad and a couple cousins, basically, and a couple aunts and uncles, and that's pretty much it. And I'm not super close with my with my immediate family. Like, I don't know. I'm always, like, is it Bitter Blossom? I don't even know what the pick is here. I really have no idea what this pick is. We could just take Smuggler's Copter. I like Lingering Souls. I really don't know what's actually... Like, none of these cards pull me in any specific direction. It might just be a Leshnorn, because it's very good. I'm going to take the Aleshnorn. I think it's probably the strongest pick in this. Oh, Orzhov Signet. Okay. 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 <clears throat> yeah, I think it's Orzhov Signet. Like, if we're playing Aleshnorn, we want to put it in the graveyard, and we also want to reanimate it. And it's also white, so... You ruined one of my drafts once. Saw you in the draft. Check the video on YouTube. You cut me from white completely and ended up with modern garbage. <laughs> well... <clears throat> Hopefully we can still be friends, because, you know. I also like Tooth and Nail, but I'd rather have the Signet. Signet's pretty good fixing. Modern garbage. Ooh, Baneslayer. Mer Christmas Badger, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Nice. I imagine this is going to be even if when I look. Of course it is. Of course it is. I like Baneslayer Angel, and I like Vraska. What if we're just, like, Abzan Big Steph? I feel like we've drafted the Abzan, like, good card deck before, and it ended up being really, really good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Three cards will come back? I don't know what they'll be. I, I'm going to imagine it's 
Ritual, Wall of Blossoms, Freebooter. Those are my guesses. We could just take Baneslayer or Gideon and stay on color. But I think Vraska is way stronger. I think Vraska is stronger than Control Magic. Yeah, I'm going to take the Vraska. We're going to live dangerously. Oblivion Ring seems very good. So does Ravenous Chupacabra, because it kills anything. It can kill a Gristlebrand. <coughs> Ten cheers for Vintage Cube. Thanks so much, Big Metal MTG. Really appreciate it. <coughs> Merry Christmas, Badger. Mer Mer Christmas. Cr Mer Christmas, as it were, we'll say. Yeah, I'm just going to take O-Ring. Because even if we don't play Vraska, like, we're still probably white. Um, well... It could just be Whisperwood Elemental. We also don't have to be black, necessarily. You're right, but I was hoping I could sway. <laughs> ah, it's going to take more than that for me to no, abandon the cause. Whatever that means. Whisperwood's very good. I wonder if they fixed Whisperwood Elemental or if, you're still gonna, if I'm still going to crash the, the client. <clears throat> I mean, it's probably the best card, right? And presumably we're going to get a lot of fixing. That's just my guess. I'm sure I'm like the Grinch to Badger Sand of 1157. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'm going to take the Bone Shredder, actually. I was thinking of taking the Sword or the Amiri Angel, but... Bone, Sli bone Shredder is nice. It just kills things. Billy, thank you, buddy. It's really appreciate it. Even though you are kind of a monster. But you're like you're like the good-hearted monster. The one that's, whose heart grew three, three sizes that day. I think it's Master of the Wild Hunt. We might just be splashing black for these guys. Yeah, I'm going to try to generate all the card advantage. Wow, the moat cave. Oh, Marari's Wake. <sighs> Doc Man, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to take... We, we wanted this to come back, but now we're in a position where, like, I think Marari's Wake is just so much better. I keep watching this like a YouTube video, and then I remember I can talk in the chat. Wow. Well, that's something right there. Which is funny, because you were literally the, one of the first people to say anything today. So, oh, Lingering Souls? Yes, please. Wow. Tooth and Nail came back. I don't think we're a Tooth and Nail deck, though. I like Banishing Light. Eh. Oh, actually, Mirror Crusader could be very, very good in the sideboard. We already have a, a, an Oblivion Ring, so... Wow! All, like, two of the three cards that we wanted came back? That's insane. I'm going to take Gideon. I assume we can get another uh, card like Bane Slayer, and I just like having Planeswalkers. <clears throat> wow. And Leon and Relic Order came back, too. Okay, well. What have been historically your favorite steps in Vintage Cube? That's a really good question. Um, God, I would have to think about that. We've done a lot. I think it's Verdant Catacombs here. Resto? We're not really a Resto deck yet. <clears throat> More like Poop and Nail. Oh, that sounds extremely unpleasant. I'm going to take the Verdant Catacomb because we don't actually have any fixing yet. I wish the Kodama's Reach came back, but you know, what are you going to do? Eh, what are you going to do? There's a Treachery. This pack has a bunch of lands that we are not going to be uh, using. Guys, we're not a Gaia's Cradle deck, unfortunately. I mean, I guess we can go Lingering Souls or Master of the Wild Hunt, but like by that point, we probably don't need that much excess mana. I think it's probably just Corsair here. I think it's pretty clear we're green-white with uh, the black splash. Super Friends is always good. Do we just take the Crater Hoof here? Maelstrom Pulse also great. Carnage Tyrant also no slouch. Actually, I think Crater Hoof is probably going to just win us the game. Like, it's just a Crater Hoof. Like, we're going to have enough creatures. We can make creatures with Whisperwood, Vraska, Master, Lingering Souls, Gideon. Also, with Progenitus, we could actually cast it if we had... One of each color. Oh, Tristani and an Assassin's Trophy. I kind of want the Tristani, but <clears throat> I bet it'll come back. And Assassin's Trophy, we can kind of... I really just want the Fixing Land, to be honest. Especially because it's a good one. Oh, man. Decisions, decisions. I'll take the trophy. I think it's probably too good to pass here. Plow under. My god. I think it's got to be plow under. <laughs> it's... 
Wow, Assassin's Trophy's willed every time so far? Interesting. I mean, it makes sense. You have to be in green-black, which probably isn't a super common archetype in the cube. In the cuba. We're taking Plow Under. Yeah, this is why I passed the Bane Slayer, because I was like, there's literally other effects like this, whereas Gideon's pretty unique. Um, that being said, eh, it's probably still Lyra. Yeah, we are like pretty committed to green white here. Oh, they took out Oath of Nissa? That's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I'll just take Lyra. I don't know if we're main decking Lyra or not, but... <sighs> he spends a lot of time making my life better. Man, you guys are great. That's a great compliment. Thank you guys so much for saying so. Knight of Autumn and Garrick Wildspeaker. Both pretty good. I like the Garrick because, again, we're trying to go for some super friends here. And, uh... <clears throat> oh, wow. Bayou. Perfect. Actual perfect. I mean, I wish the Wall of Roots and the Rex Sage and the Stirring Wild wouldn't weren't also in this pack, but I'm definitely just taking a fetch land here. Another Garrick. And the Doom Whisperer came back. These were two of the cards that I wanted from this pack, so I'm just going to take the Planeswalker. Yep, this was also a card I was interested in. Alright, let's see if one of those other cards comes back in the Assassins. What are we looking for? We're looking for the Shambling Vent. Mm, Maelstrom Pulse. Also, Brightling has been very good for me. Yeah, I think it's Maelstrom Pulse here. This deck seems sweet, and every time we do a stipple, every time we do a deck like this, it's always it always turns out pretty pretty good. Drew, thanks for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. I appreciate you as well. Timely? Alright, we'll take you for the sideboard. That hacking 1157 is killing me! Shut up and take my money! <laughs> Just because you're awesome, happy Festivus. The Shadows, thank you so much, buddy. Happy Festivus. May you, uh, may your feats of strength go well. I hope the air the airing of grievances is not, is not too, uh, too draining for you. Uh, history could be good here. I don't think our shambling vent came back, unfortunately. And before two land hands that never reached the third. Love the content, Mr. Dark, Dark Slick Shore intro days. Man, the Dark Slick Shore intro is great. I still have that, actually. <clears throat> uh, I'll take field. For someone who is not very good at limited, what advice would you give to get better or what somebody be looking for when they return. Um, well, it depends on the format, of course. But, I mean, like, the, the best thing you can do when you're playing limited and to get better is to... Um, you have to actually be pretty observant and you have to figure out what cards are doing well and what cards are not. So, like, if you draft a deck and you're like, this card had no impact on this game, this card had no impact on the board, like, my, my I lost to this card. Like, you really want to be able to evaluate what cards are good and bad. And until you can evaluate those things... Uh, like, honestly, you know, like, if you play a card that gains five life, you have to be able to know. Like, if it just says gain five life and that's all it does, you have to be able to know that that's not a valuable card. It had no impact on anything. So you have to be able to evaluate that first. And if you can do that, if you can evaluate which cards are good in your deck and which cards are bad, you'll start to get a feel for the format and which cards are the most impactful. Where do you buy Baxter of California stuff? Uh, you can get it anywhere. I went to a local hair, hair store, uh, a, a local barber. But you can actually get it on Amazon if you wanted to. Maybe I should just have Baxter of California sponsor me. That'd be pretty sweet. Well, no power, guys. No power.
this is the one I use. I'll just send it to you guys. And by that I mean I'll post it in the chat. It's the clay, it's the stronghold, matte finish. So probably just taking his in Quagmire, which is not super exciting. I don't think it's Mind Slaver. We could take Ulamog, but I don't think we actually have the mana for it yet. I really want more either Signets or, you know, just power in general. I wish we didn't only have black green lands that we're fixing here. Like the Shambling Vent and... Oh, Golgari... Oh, Celestia Signet. Actually much better than the other one because uh, we want white fixing. We already have a bunch of black... Also, this is... The, the two Signets we have are both white, so that's nice. Probably better than Sylvan Carry added. Actually, Sylvan Carry added might just be better. I think Sylvan Carry added is better. It doesn't die to, to even... Yeah, that's actually significantly better. Also, uh, it adds to our Crater Hoof Behemoth mana. Yeah, this is fine. We can also get one of those Signets back, and that would be pretty sweet. Coalition Relic seems great for us. I don't want another 5-drop. And I think Coalition Relic for 2 mana is doing a very similar job to Gilded Lotus at 5 mana, so... Misty only gets us Bayou right now. I'm just going to take Coalition Relic. Oh, Merry Xmas from Australia. Wait gives you all the mana you ever need for any spell if you believe in Christmas magic. You have to believe in the heart of the cards. Random Baxter does it. Uh, it had. I well, It doesn't it actually has a very very muted smell. It's it's it has a really good smell, but it's a very light fragrance. So I would not worry about that. It just has a very ref it has like a very refreshing smell. It's hard to explain, but it's really really. Uh, it's not. It's not. Um, I want to say invasive. Um, oppressive. It's not like an oppressive smell. Oh wow, Lotus, Mox Jet. Billy, this deck looks sick, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, seems good. What was your record? How did you do? Oh my god, turn two bullets. Is that possible? You can go turn one Mox Land Signet. Let me pick let me pick my card and figure out what's going on here. Is it just Elvish Mystic? I don't know if this is a one mana. Could be Brimaz. I'm just gonna take the elf. I think we're gonna have enough green to to constitute playing an elf. So you could turn one land. Oh my, oh wait, crypt, you have a mana crypt in here too? Oh my god, I didn't even see the mana crypt. I literally thought that was just like <sighs> Yeah, that's pretty good. And just on time, we got a nickel bolus here. I don't think we can play it, though. I think we're probably just taking Thrun, because it's literally the only card in the pack that actually is playable for it. Actually, Skull Clamp could be good. We have Lingering Souls. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's Skull Clamp. Oh my god, can I just get one, like, green-white or black-white land? I'll take Harmonize. Oh, uh, Knight of the Reliquary is cute. I don't foresee us playing it, though. Terastanon's alright, but we're not, like, we already have... We're not ramping, we're not, like... Well, doesn't look like... Doesn't look good. I like Nyssa. <coughs> Can we just cut the white? <laughs> One, two... Like, we're, I'm, not, I'm not huge on this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't love it. Greetings from 40 Minutes Delayed Train from Cape Cod to New Jersey. I forgot to bring headphones, so I'm going to have to ask you to talk softly, please, so I don't disturb the other passengers. Thank you. How do you forget headphones? Get your life together. Get your life together. I'm going to take Nissa. I think it's probably better than Shieldred here. I have to talk really softly for Elk Tears, so... I think Krakus is probably just better than a, uh, a Plains in most situations. Wow, both of the Signets came back. Sometimes you have it all. Sun Titan. Okay. God, why do these people have no respect, dude? Bjorn, happy Festivus, buddy. Wow, this is the second Festivus I've gotten. That's pretty funny. 
May your feats of strength go well. Alright. Our deck looks pretty okay. We do have three cuts to make. Can we cut the black cards? We cut Vraska, Bone Shredder, and Maelstrom Pulse, and Assassin. Now we don't... Like, there's no reason to do that, I guess. We can probably cut Bone Shredder. Even though I do like Bone Shredder with Sun Titan. And the problem with Sun Titan is we actually don't have many things to get back with the Sun Titan. So maybe I just cut Sun Titan. Like, if we had more Planeswalkers on three, I'd be more game about it, but... Uh, actually, I'm on a very busy, loud train. I need you to speak up. Oh my god. So basically, you guys just want me to talk at normal volume. This It's called Pepper Talk, not Chili Talk. Wow, Badger. Wow. <sighs> so, land, land. We're playing all of these except for Field of Ruin. So that's your email, but playing email tag if you want to do the deck or later today. Oh, it's probably not going to be today. Just because I, I don't want to like, I don't want to rush something like that. Um, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. We can do that. Yeah, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day works. Let me see which one works better and I'll, I'll email you back. I'll respond to you. Thanks for the patience, Nick. Really appreciate it. Probably want to cut one of the five drops. I like that we have Signet Signet Carry Added and Coalition Relic, though. Why are you not playing the Knight of the Relic where you can fix and get your library? Um, that's true, but I don't know how many planes and forests we're going to be playing. So it's not really that great. I mean, it could be great, but... It might not be that great. Like, I'm just... A, it's also just... I mean, we don't have any lands that go to... The, we have, like, one fetch land, so... It's basically just a 3-mana three 3-3. Three, three. It's not terrible, but, I mean... Getting a Krakus is also not bad, but... I guess we're probably going to be playing a bunch of forests and, and planes. Is it better than anything else that we have, though? Uh, I like all of the five drops, actually. It might be Skull Clamp. Fetch land does not match with Knight. What does that mean? Yeah, I mean, even if we clamp... So, you, so the problem with clamp is that, like, you don't have to have a bunch of 1-1s. One you can put it on your 2-2 two, two wolf token and then attack with it. And either you block and get it and draw two cards, or you attack with it and they just keep taking it. Like, you put it on a good creature and, like, if they kill it, you draw two. It's very good. I don't think I have seen the new short by DreamWorks. You want to cut a Leshnorn? Have you ever cast on a Leshnorn? Wow, that's crazy, dude. You are literally a maniac. I might just play 41, because that's what we like doing here. All right. So it's probably one. One, two, three, four, five, six. For three black cards? Seems fine. Yeah, I figured if it's a if it's like a if it's a short if it's short if it's a dream or short it's probably significant length. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, cutting two of those, adding two of these. So this is five, six, seven, eight, and Sylvan carry added counts. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we're going to go one more, so we're just going to add one more planes. All right, cool. So this is 17 lands. Yeah, this is fine. <sighs> yeah, anyone who takes a Savannah over a Sphinx's Rev in a literal blue-white deck um, probably has no idea what a Leshenorn even does. That's my theory, anyway. Oh, we have to play. God, I always do that. I'm like, save. I still, like, even after all this time, even after leagues have been a thing for all this time, I still sometimes forget to hit play because I just assume when I'm done deck building, we're waiting for everyone else to be done deck building too, and then we're going to, and then our matches are just going to start automatically. Like the old, like the old Swiss drafts or single limb drafts, I guess.
Uh, this hand's actually okay. Turn three Garrick into turn four Plow, and if we draw any, like, two mana... I mean, it's not broken for cube standards, but... Hmm, that's fascinating. Oh, Timmy, Timmy JM. Yeah, two Tims. Okay. You counter this? Are you going to mana drain this? That'd be gas. Wow, that's great. That's fine. Joke's on you. I don't even have any white. I don't even have any white. I don't have other mana. How does that make the joke on him? I don't actually know. This guy. Manager in this guy. Remand? Alright, sure. Well, next turn I'm gonna plow under, which seems pretty strong. Thank you. BSP, thank you for the four months in a row. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Is there a Mike Wiki somewhere? No, that's actually hilarious though. Look at all this artifact mana you might waste. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or you can just play Mirror Battle Sphere here. That's actually pretty scary. All right, that's not that's not that scary. You can have an island. Well, without being able to get rid of the Karn, it's kind of problematic. <sighs> I have one mana up. I feel like we just want a Mirari's Wake here. Next turn we can do everything. Lingering Soul seems not great. Like next time we have nine mana with Marari's Wake. This is actually surprisingly hard to figure out. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Wake here. Signet and Garrick doesn't seem like it affects the board enough. Maybe it does. Maybe Garrick is enough. It's definitely either this or this. I don't think Plow is actually going to do enough here because they just get to, like, even if we Plow, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, six mana for an artifact, and we know they have an island in hand that we gave them. So they'll have two islands in hand. Plus, it's the, the Plow under is worse when they have a Karn, so they can literally just draw the next two. All right, well, that resolved, so they clearly didn't have anything there, so. So now you have two islands. <laughs> You're going to play one, I presume. Oh, God. All right, that's fine. So two islands in hand. Tinker. <sighs> if it's Blightsteel... You just traded a Boros Signet for a Gilded Lotus? That's interesting. So we know you have an island in hand. Dig through time. All right. Well, there's a lot of things. My phone's about to die. I love the concept. Mr. Timmy, thank you so much for the, for the sub. Really appreciate it. And, uh... I'll be sure to catch you on YouTube later. I don't... 
I don't understand. Like, yeah, I know. Tinker into Gilded Lotus is not, uh... Not the most ideal. But, I mean, it does let them play Dig Through Time, I guess, with all their... I have no idea. How much mana do we have now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. 8 mana if we want to play this. So I guess we can just go Garrick and Whisperwood. We can also go Plow Under Garrick. We could also whisper Lingering Souls Signet, which could be good. I think it's probably better to get the Garrick down. Making spirits bright. I'm gonna disallow your spell and put it in the graveyard tonight. Oh, disallow, disallow. Put it in the graveyard now. You got it. All right. Make a 2-2, two -two, which is actually a 3-3. Three -three. Looks like a little bugger in here. If it's a moth, I'll just let him be. I actually don't have a problem with moths. I think moths are kind of cute. So I'm watching you while wrapping presents for my nephews and niece. What is why is wrapping presents so that it's 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 totally not. I think it's I think it's interesting though that people like it's it's definitely um a thing that people struggle with. You know what I mean? Um you can have Mishra's factory. So I'm literally just giving you all the lands. And we're putting all the other stuff over here. Alright, so island is gone. So now you have Mishra's factory and three other cards. What if Maws are the ghosts of butterflies? Thank you. That's amazing. Monkey Knife Fight, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Why doesn't this bounce legendary permanence? Oh, well, that's very good. You take my Elvish Mystic? Wow, it's aggressive. Hmm. All right, so we need to have Mishra's Factory in one of their cards. I'm not terribly scared of what you have. Shut up and take my money. Okay. Okay. Leonard, thank you so much for the reset. Really appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Thanks for all the content. Anytime, buddy. Really appreciate it. And even numbers, please, with 343. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. Um, yeah, I'll just create a wolf here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can do both of these, which is nice. So you're going to draw an island, which is fine. Well, we have no cards in hand, but we have quite a board here. I think Upheaval is kind of a scary card, but I don't see how they could actually get an Upheaval. They could draw one with with Tamiyo. Thank you. Unease Joker, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. I'm not sure what to say here. That's my first time free subbing, but I do need to do a deck critic. <laughs> that is not how you spell critique, but I will accept it anyway. Okay, you got it. Now you could draw two. Oh, no, you can't because you actually Shut used her to tap down money. the thing. What problem is... <laughs> oh, Billy, you're the hero we need. Badger gifted five subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Man, your support is... Man, you and Billy are killing it today. This is ridiculous. Thank you so much, dude. 
We are also recovering from another subpocalypse, which is kind of funny. You can always tell that I said it yesterday, but you can always tell the day is where like a bunch of gift subs expired. It was yesterday was. Oh, I see. Oh, this is nice that the Caracas is one of our white sources because we only lose a, a forest here. Thank you. Which seems pretty good. Huh. Thank you. So. We could kill this and then go get a, um, huh. We can just go get Crater Hoof and like try to kill them. Don't we know they're gonna another, aren't they gonna draw another island? They played Mishra's Factory, so we know they have island in hand, right? They didn't play the island. Thank you. Villy with the five gifted subs. Man, you guys are... Uh, I feel like you guys are in competition today. But, like, I hope it's a friendly competition Thank because you. you're both great people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you. We're definitely playing this. And we're definitely flashing Thank back you. Lingering Souls. I like Thank the idea of, like killing the elf but then they just steal something else so that's not great you mentioned leonard cohen a bit back have you heard everybody knows i don't think i have heard everybody knows i might know it if i heard it i really don't want them to draw three with tamio is the problem and i don't know if we can avoid that sundering titan was kind of a a rough hit oh man No competition here, just love. <laughs> oh. God, this is actually tough. I don't know what to do here. It's either we can like try to set up for... My problem is if we also... One, two, three, four, five, six. We only have to block... Like We can block two of these guys, unfortunately. We can make this a 4-4. Four, four. We know what they're going to hit. I don't think we care about the Planeswalkers, to be quite honest. They only have three islands, so that's good. They can't take this. Will Garrick survive? We need to block two things, and then we get... One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. Yeah, we're gonna try it one. Yeah, I think this is good. I guess we'll find out. You're gonna add mana in response. Okay. I don't know why you did that, but I guess you can activate Mishra's factory. No, just so you can waste it. Seems good. Pro play. <laughs> Solid. Solid. So we need to keep Garrick alive. We also probably need to keep listening. Well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll have eight. We'll have nine mana, actually. So. Although our birthdays are one day apart, and we have open lettuce on our birthday of the year VMA. Wow, that's crazy. What a crazy time. What are they putting? Probably repeal. Yep, and they're probably going to bounce Garrick. That's sad. Well, Karn is a real thing. Oh, they bounced a spirit token. So we need to have one island in hand, and then you drew a card off the repeal. So, sure. Okay. 
Mystical Tutor is good because it literally lets you draw it with Tamiyo if you want. Cryptic command. Wait, you don't have. Oh, they have Gilded Lotus. I'm dumb. Yikes, that's pretty bad. Zaychi, Merry Christmas Eve, bro. Merry Christmas Eve. Alright, so they draw one. So now they've drawn the Cryptic Command. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, no attacks. I like it. God, Cryptic Command was pretty obnoxious there. Oh, that's a good one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's add a black. Do we sack a spirit token? Probably. Like, they could steal Master of the Wild Hunt. It's kind of obnoxious, because I don't want them to, like... I think we're just going to play Lyra here. They'd probably just let it resolve, right? They can't steal it. I was really hoping this is this is what we were hoping for. It's a Christmas miracle. Tap all dudes. All right, we'll tap you in response. So we can play the Vraska here. But what do we do? If Vraska goes to eight, it still dies to Sundering Titan Construct, but we get a guy out of it. Then they can steal the guy EOT. We can kill something. We can probably just kill the Vidalcan Shackles, I guess. If I'm not mistaken, their last card is a land. God, Crypto Command is insane because now your Tamiyo is going to make you draw like a million cards. Yeah, this is pretty bad for us. They go Tamiyo, draw five. Oh, God. I think we're dead. Yeah, I wasn't expecting them. They like they had, they had to top deck Mystical Tutor into Cryptic Command in order to tap our guys and be able to counter the Crater Hoof, which we obviously did not get. So, not ideal. But here we are. Yeah. Yep. Seems good. But we have three Planeswalkers, so they can't kill all three of them. All right. Well, you have played Island, so we don't know whether you have more. And you also played Impulse, which is fine. Make sure you add mayonnaise to the turkey's cavity like stuffing, then microwave for six hours. That sounds disgusting. Uh, Mike actually just left for work. Oh, 
god. Oh, now they can kill all three planeswalkers. Mishra's factory is a hell of a drug. Yep, that's pretty okay. And make another six six. Seems good. Shut up and take my money. Valley 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 Man is rude. <laughs> Three fifty one. Wow. Oh my god. Plebeesh, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I didn't I don't know if it popped or not. It might have been in the in the in the calamity. Yep. 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 Can we just top deck a six cards in hand dear god like they have disallow remand cryptic command like we know they have counter spell like we know they're playing a counter heavy deck and they have a gilded lotus up so i'm kind of kind of concerned about that man what happened we had it all and now we don't have any of it Wow, if we added one last turn, like we totally we totally messed up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We actually I don't know if we actually maybe we, if they don't have a counter spell, maybe we still just win. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Alrighty then. That'll do. Crater Hoof off the top for negative 27. Oh, pretty, Jesus. Pretty, Never didn't have it, I guess. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Jesus. My words exactly, Billy. My words exactly. Good times. Well, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> it's like, well, I'll just top dig it naturally, I guess. Ooh. Uh, Relic Order seems OP here. Uh, Banisher Priest actually seems all right because it can steal the, the tokens, but I don't know if we need it. Like, see, this is why I didn't want Bone Shredder on the main deck because... I'm about to bust. That's how I felt last round. Game. Last game. Lyra. We can probably take out Lyra. Uh, I wish we had more ways to deal with artifacts because Vidalcan Shackles is real scary. Um, wow, it's so funny having the Krakus as our only white source uh, actually benefited us because they weren't able to kill it with Sundering Titan. I think this is actually fine. I don't think we want... Like, we just don't have a ton of things to sideboard. And, like, Spectral Procession would have been really expensive that game if we had to cast it. Um, yeah, this hand's rough. I don't really want 6-drop, 8-drop mulligan. This hand is great. Uh, I'm gonna bottom this because we don't have any black sources yet. Someone with a big cool truck just drove by, you can tell. You gonna force spike this? Oh, you're gonna mystical tutor. Ooh. Ooh, fancy. What are you mystical tutor for? Oh, visions. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Like, we have a lot of black sources, and I'm wondering why, like, we haven't been drawing them. Man, 
Here's a black source. Oh, that's not a black source at all. Oh my god, did we really just... Oh, wow, they didn't block. That's great. I was like, oh my god, did we just really attack into Amisha's factory? We did. And they didn't block. They could have actually activated... No, they just played it, right? So they couldn't have actually activated and impulsed. So that's good. I don't know. It's always weird to me, like, people who ride... Who have big trucks like that, because I'm like... What's the point? You're just paying more in gas... It's super inconvenient to park places. Like, it's a weird, it's just a weird decision. But I mean, you know, everybody has different preferences, I guess. Now we're just getting in there for these guys. Okay, seven drop, eight drop, one, two, three, four, five. Like, we can play these if we get one more land, but I really don't want to wait until turn. <sighs> Loud pipes save lives, don't you? I didn't know that, actually. You forgot to buy tissue paper for your gift bags. Wow. Amateur Christmas mistake. Yeah, there's definitely utility for trucks, but, like, when you get a huge truck, it's just like, what are you doing, man? Get your life together. I do. Oh my god. We were driving We were driving to a restaurant. It was me, Mike, and Felipe. We were driving to a restaurant in the Prius, right? And uh, Felipe's like, did your car just turn off? Because when you're idling, or like when you go to a stop stop stoplight, sometimes the, the, the engine actually stops in the Prius because it's a hybrid. And it's dead silent. And he's like, did your car just shut off? And I'm like, no, that's just how the Prius works. And it was pretty hilarious because y you kind of think that the engine did shut off because... There's no reason not to think that. Let's get a Bayou. We're going to get Bayou here because we want to be able to uh, still cast Crater Hoof if they somehow get rid of our Elvish Mystic. There's going to be Cryptic Command counter this and then draw? Wow, that seems... Huh. I mean, it, you drew a card, so you got rid of half. It was like a 0.5 or 0, I guess. And now you're up to seven cards again. Sure. Very aggressive. Always with the check, check, check. Really? Are you just... Oh, you're tinkering. I see. Well, you clearly don't have, like, Blightsteel Colossus here, right? So... Okay, well, now you get all my lands. That's unfortunate. I forgot about that. Yep, cool. Good times. Sundering Titan is a fun, fun magic card. Yep. Pays this man his money. That's good. These are some good. These are some good rounders memes. Always with the chick, chick, chick. A KKC reference? I don't know what that is. Crack Clan. Yep, we're done. Yep. Double Sundering Titans where I draw the line, buddy. All of this hand was pretty terrible. God, you don't even like Banisher Priest because once you get rid of it, it does the same thing. I don't even know what King Killer Chronicle is, so probably not. It was definitely, it was Rounders. It was uh, John Malkovich's character, Teddy KGB, in Rounders. 
These hands are terrible. We have 17 lands, dude. And two Signets and a Sylvan Carry out and an Elvish Mystic. Like, I don't feel like we should be getting stuck on one land hands with nothing to do. Like, I would keep this if I knew there was a land on top because of Courser. I don't think that's good enough. This is good, though. All right, land on top. So that they can counter our spell. Oh, wow. All right, cool. That was actually great. That resolving is pretty gas. Will you bring any tips today? I don't think I don't think so. I don't want to do them on days like when uh, the people who um who commissioned them might not be here. I usually like to try to do it when they're here. However, okay, so let's add a white mana. Play land. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So let's go signet. Gideon. If someone here done any first step, would you do it? Yeah, we could do it next. I could do it as my next draft. <laughs> so let's say hypothetically, if someone done any first step, would you do it? Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't, I don't have any scheduled for today. I didn't, I didn't make any. Uh, usually, I discuss them with people, and I'm like, they're like, hey, you can do it this day or this day, and that's usually totally fine. Okay, yeah, like please, let me put a charge counter on this. Tell me something good. Let's get a white mana here. If you had to fart on Kibler or Luis, who would you pick? Uh, or LSV and why? If you had to fart on Kibler or LSV and why would you pick L Okay, so you, you you definitely miswrote that, but I get what you're saying. Uh, I think the reason is because Kibler is much more lovable uh, than Luis. And Luis is a great dude. I love Luis to death, but... um, Luis is more of a troll, a, a significantly bigger troll than, than Brian is. And... Um, for that reason, I would definitely, Luis would definitely get the fart. Oh, uh, let's use the green here. I'm sorry I can't donate till next. Why would you apologize for that? Don't be ridiculous. Yes, let's use this ability. Let's play master. Yep. I mean, we figured you had a counter spell, so we're kind of saving this Nissa for Yield until next end step. Seems fine. Yikes. Let's yield until next end step. Again. Again. Wow, from gut shot to butt shot. The yeah, that could be the Frank and Luis story. Might have to cancel my Patreon. I'd still done it all the time. Whatever Patreon has done some really shady stuff. That really? Don't know if you've been paying attention, but it's pretty bad. No, I haven't actually. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh no. Patreon, why? Oh. 
Okay, so put a counter on this dude. So you only have three mana, and you've disallowed counter spell already. So your odds of having a, f a counter spell here are low. Can't cryptic command, which they banned a guy for saying a word they didn't like on YouTube once most. Well, that's awkward. Tell me something good. Uh, one, two. So we can play this land and we can go one, two, three. No, don't do this. No, don't do that either. Okay, we're going to use this to trigger this and then this one to trigger this one. We're going to play this land and we're going to plow under these two, I guess. And they're gone. All right. So, make you a thing. Tamio and your face. I don't think you're going to have an answer, so we're just going to go to Tamio. And uh, if you have <laughs> Sundering Titan here, it's going to be pretty sad. But you have one card in hand, and you're going to draw either Factory or Island. Tinker would also not be fun. Treasure Cruise. Okay, so now we know you have Factory and Island. <clears throat> Seems good. All right, factory's gone. So we know we have at least one island in hand. And two other cards. Maybe. Two other carns is what I meant to say, apparently. Make a 3-3. Three, three. Seems good. It sucks because if they activate this guy, they get to block. But... Both of these are lethal to to Karn. So we're probably going to play this. I wish we... I always forget the Coalition Relic. They do trample, but, I mean, this guy activating this makes this a 4-4, so... How much of the money donated through Patreon do you actually get? Is It's not 100%. They definitely take a cut. Otherwise, they would not have a business model. But I'm not sure exactly how much it is. The reason they gave was that it was against their manifest observable behavior. Since it wasn't done on Patreon or supporting channels, it was straight up a ban without any warning. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awkward. All right. So they can't kill both of our forests, though, which is nice. And if they go block, block... 4-4. Four, four. Can they pump this guy? No, they can't because it just came into play, right? They just played that. We can also put it on here, but then like they just go block here. So we're going to put it on you. Shut up and take my money. Three LSV fart bucks. <laughs> One per fart. I assume I'm farting three times. That's the assumption I have. Yeah, and if they go double block here. Yeah, both the Karn seems good because we can just Nissa and untap both of our forests. Yep, so it is now a 4-4. Four, four. Whoa. Oh. There you go. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Yeah, this is fine. Yep. So Karn does die. So does your guy. Okay, so no Karn. And you have an island and two other cards in hand when you untap. Sure. Do you know what's the name of a great song by Neil Young about a good grandpa? <laughs> Old man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you. That's a great song. If that's the one we're talking about.
We, again, we didn't do this. I totally forget to do it every single time. The problem is that, like, now they can block and pump. Which is really awkward. But I do not want you to block and pump. We can move this over here and just give them a thing back, which I think is actually fine. And then we can attack with both, which I also think is fine. I mean, if they want to trade Mishra's factory for Kitty Cat Man, that is okay with me. Also, Nissa is now ultimate next turn. Search your library for any number of basic lands. Put them on the battlefield. Yeah, that's pretty nuts if we can ultimate her next turn. Wow, we just won the game. I did not actually expect us to win this game. They had a bunch of broken stuff that we don't actually have really efficient answers for. Oh, Ancestral Island Island. Seems good. Do we want to change anything? I don't think so. I think I like the configuration here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I don't want to go down to six white sources, but I guess we do have two signets. I don't know. I just want to make sure we can hit mana for Sylvan Carry added in Mystic, so. <laughs> Forgot Relic. It's going to happen a lot. Magic's hard, guys. Shut up and take my money. Draft stipulation, take the best card in the pack, disregarding deck building. Uh, me, personally, I like black cards. Black X from what I've seen you play. You're normally blue X. This is this is a long stipulation. Hold on, let me, let me parse it correctly. Give me one second. One second, just responding to my mom actually. I will play first. All right. Um, yeah, see, and then we get no white sources. Super. This hand's not great. We can mulligan this hand. I'm going to keep this because any land lets us play carry added next turn. And then we get to play coalition relics. So we actually have two turns to hit a land. Three. We have to look at the top three cards. All right. Not a long simulation. Just the, oh, no, the simulation itself is not long. Just the way you wrote it, it was kind of like a rambling sentence. But give me one second, I will copy this. And I'll put it up in the thing, and I will add it to the thing. So we have content. I need to Joker. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, take the best card in the pack, disregarding deck building. Okay, got it. It's hard to say what the best card in the magic card because I yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, we didn't hit. We did not hit a second land. So, cool, <laughs> good times. Oh, we actually got to see two cards, not three cards. We got to put one to the bottom, and then we got to draw one for the second turn, not the first turn. So, I mean, if we get to hit, if like we got, we got a couple turns, we're not dead. I think our hand is still great if we hit a second land into a. If we hit a third land, it's even better because we get to go Garrick. Like this hand is great. But here we go. One time, American kid. Is that the American kid?
Good times. Always a pleasure, Magic the Gathering. We have fun. We meet for the first time. We meet again for the first Eve. Or is it? I don't know how people want to say. Yeah, it's, I mean, like, it's Christmas Eve, but it's like, it's kind of like, yeah, we, people still celebrate it, I think. Okay, we're just going to go to the next game. Because Magic is a cool game. Good times, good times. All right, so what do we see? A two drop? Good enough. Submit. I gotta go finish wrapping presents and then get ready for Christmas lunch with the in-laws. Thank you for all the content this year. Have a wonderful Christmas and we'll see you in the stream. The New Year wants to get back for my Euro trip. Badger, have a great trip, buddy. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. You've been awesome. And uh, I hope you have the best trip and I will see you soon, I'm sure. Also, I saw that Kevin Spacey video. If you guys haven't, if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. All right, Doc Man. Unease Joker, would you mind if I did yours later this week? Because Docman was talking about how he wanted to do it only because he's here. So let me know if you'd mind that. Because I'd much rather I'd rather make sure that he, he gets the stipulation while he's here. So let me know if that's an option. Uh I will play first. Alright, now we're talking. Now we got it. We did it. Tony R. Steph Collins. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, the Kevin Spacey video was really, really, really weird. I just have no idea what he's doing. Like, it almost feels like he's lost his mind. Like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> I can be on all night. So, yeah, but I'm not going to, I'm only going to do one more after this. I'm not going to be here. All, I'm not going to be here all night. <laughs> so. Because I do have, I have, I have family stuff to do with. To do with, to do, and, uh. I don't like how expensive it is on YouTube, so I, I would think it would be interesting. Oh, okay, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Appreciate it. That actually works out great. Doc man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you. All right, so we're going to yield until next end step. A function I've recently only discovered. So let's do a thing. That's what I'm, yeah, that's why I yield to the end step, just so I don't forget my, my little chargey boy. Oh, chargey boy. Let's add a black just in case we got. I mean, I hope you don't have mana leak. I hope you don't have remand. I'd rather you have remand so I can still do this next turn. Wow, I'm one mana shy. One mana shy, shy. Uh, hush, mana leak, four, five, six, seven. We can play a Lush Norn next turn, but I'd much rather play uh, Vraska. <laughs> Especially now that they have a Krakus. So, green. And we can go one, two, three, four, five. Untap, two, three. Yeah, I think we'd rather just play Vraska. You don't have Cryptic Command mana. <sighs> yeah, what are you going to do? I assume you're just going to counter everything I play, so we're kind of just working towards a, an Ugin, I guess. Oh, wow. Well, I'll be a biscuit. This is definitely a hand. You are correct. That is correct. Spell Queller. Just a just a hard cat. Just like I need to I need to get some pressure on this board. Um. All right. So let me actually. I didn't even look at. Dockman's Stip. Dockman's Stip is unexpected Christmas bonus paying for this. I want to see Enchantment Town. Oh boy. Alright, let's see what we got here. Enchantment Town, unless you open either Thousand Year Storm or Experimental Frenzy, then you can build around one of those instead. Power and lands can be taken over enchantments. Okay, sweet. That's pretty sweet. 
That actually sounds great. Yeah, this guy's just not doing it. We could also just kill it here. Caracas is pretty awkward with Leshnorn. Gonna be honest with you guys. Why would he lie about that? Uh, let's go green. They do have cryptic command mana now, which is pretty awkward. Won't you take me to Enchantment Town? I should have actually activated Vraska first. If they have Cryptic Command, they can go counter this, bounce the Vraska, which is pretty awkward. No, oh, they did not counter that. Well, that's something. Won't you take me to Rasko Town? Like, they can't activate this, so we're good here. Oh, you're going to do a thing. Got Avacyn? Sword Supply Shares. Sure. Using a sword on a forest is pretty good, I guess. If you didn't counter Nissa, like, does that mean you don't have a counter spell? That's what I would imagine. Four mana. Oh, he played instant speed. Fencer? Fencer could be good. Blink. In response to... Why wouldn't you blink in response to Nyssa so I don't get the pirate? That's interesting. That's a fascinating choice. Oh, man. If they, if they activate Colonnade to kill the Nyssa... Oh, we are in good shape here, boys. Should I be concerned that I kind of physically open the door to where my boiler is and there is water leaking out? That sounds disconcerting. Spiked Mike. <laughs> Having a blue Christmas, Mike, mono blue or blue black control, anything that says no to opponents and makes them sad. Wow, that actually seems right up my alley. All right, let me add that to the queue. I might not be able to get this. I'm probably not going to be, I'm not going to be able to get this today, but it is in the queue now. Spike Mike, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. All right, so. Oh, they're not attacking the, the other guy. All right, sure. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, good. I was like, oh, my God, did we just forget? No, we did not. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, we can just play Ugin. Let's go green. Don't have four spiker mana tied, dude. <gasps> Goodness gracious. Yeah, that seems good. I don't want to brag, but. I mean, if this is your turn to, like, deal four to Ugin. For keeping up mana a lot, OP doesn't seem to have her Gotham's very often. Yeah, that's, that is a good point. Very few Gotham's here today. Oh, a mother of... Mother of macaronis. So, we're just going to play Aleshnorn here, right? Should have kept your Krakus up. Getting rid of Mom seems pretty strong here. We also put them to three, which means they're dead to Ugin and they're dead to both pirates. So even if they bounce this, it's it's whatever. 
I am tempted to take the Ugin out or, or the Elishnorn out because of the because uh, of the Krakus. Yeah, that game went a lot better once we were able to cast our spells and do our things. Uh, Bone Shredder actually seems pretty okay. Yeah, I think we're just gonna bring in the Bone Shredder. We'll take out the Elishnorn and bring in Bone Shredder. Because we can kill Spell Coiler with it, we can kill Celestial Colony with Accurate Arts, and we can kill Mother of Runes. It's a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of targets, and we can actually pay for the Bone Shredder and then equip with Skull Clamp, or we can just play Bone Shredder and equip with Skull Clamp on the same turn, which is great. I also keep forgetting we have black cards. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's not great, but it lets us do everything we want to do. So we can get a Bayou with the Verdant Catacombs. Excellent. This is nice because next turn we can go Courser into land. And if they want to counter a Courser, it's like, I'm not super concerned with that. Impulse. Blink. Wow. Aggressive. Very aggressive. Marin Crusader. Main phase Spell Queller. History of Benalia. I'm just going to name them all. I have literally no idea what it could be. Brightling. That's pretty good. Actually, while they have no mana for this, I'm probably just going to kill it with Maelstrom Pulse. No, I'm not, because I don't have the mana for that. That is unfortunate. Uh, I think it's actually double signet over Relic here. pretty good we are going to kill it though hmm well do we just trade Garrick for this one two three wait this just sucks because we can't really do multiple things this turn If we hit a land, it would be great because then we can go Garrick. We can go Relic into Garrick, or we can just play like Pulse and Kroof and Courser. We can actually try to hit a land off Courser here, which I think is fine. We did not hit a land off Courser, which is less fine. Now we should play Relic first. A bunch of wasted mana. Uh, we could have played Relic and Pulsed, but I mean, we could also play Relic and Garrick. A Swamp. Fascinating. Yeah, this is a surprisingly fast clock. I think we're actually just dead to this. We could have easily killed it, but I just didn't want to fall too far behind by like leaving them with an Elspeth and Actually if they if actually this could be good. Land on top one time. That's a good land to hit. Okay. All right, now we have things to do. I kind of just want to Maelstrom Pulse the tokens now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we don't have enough. Again, we don't have enough mana, which is unfortunate. Last turn was really a mess up, unfortunately. I guess we could Pulse Lingering Souls. It's actually not bad. So we can go one, two, three, use the white, pulse, lingering souls, one, two, three, play lingering souls, attack Elspeth. Not terrible. Pulse the Brightling, then... Oh, then Lingering Souls? No, I'd rather get rid of the Lingering Souls. Shut up and take my money. 
Off to Christmas with my sister's family. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Have a nice Tuesday. Josh, thank you so much, buddy. Have a great, have a great Tuesday. Really appreciate it. I mean, if I was at eight, I'd probably just attack with Colonnade too. They have two cards in hand. I don't know. Are they gonna give lifelink? No, it doesn't get unblockable. It can get it can get lifelink or vigilance. And that's pretty much it. Oh no, it, it, no, it's 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 like morphling, not like aetherling. Land on top, plow under. Well, butter my biscuits. Two cards in hand, huh? Baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Baby, I seem a bit confused, but maybe I've got you pegged. But I don't know what to do with those toss salads and scrambled eggs. They're calling again. Burn, burn. Good night. I will mana leak this. Oh, that's obnoxious. Wait, we can kill that, can't we? How does that work? This is actually this actually worked out pretty well, I think. Because now it gets to, it goes does it go to the graveyard? Wow, we just got extra tokens. What a deal, dude. That's gas. Especially with the skull clamp in hand. That might have been the turn we needed. That's insane. That might have turned the turned the tide. Plow under gets rid of both of their blue sources, which is nice. Or, or their their black source and their colonnade, which is also nice. Toke toke plow. <laughs> is, that, is that what the kids are doing these days? Is that like puff puff pass? How do you know about Puff Puff Pass? Yeah, I'm just blocking both of these. Like, having Garrick alive is significantly more important to me than... Are they both going at Garrick? They're both going at me? Yeah, that's fine. Still blocking. Reason being, I don't want to go to four because Colonnade is just a really strong uh, threat at four. I don't want to be dead to one Colonnade hit. Oh, they didn't do anything. Oh, biscuits. So we can make a wolf. I really gotta get rid of this Elspeth, I'll be honest with you guys. It's not ideal. Um... Let's use this one instead. Skull clamp. 
Actually, let's use the friggin' library instead. Let's draw some cards. I'm gonna assume one of these had to be a land, and I was wrong. I was wrong that one of those cards had to be a land. Well, we're gonna pass here. But we have a Yugen, a Yugen on board on the topity top top tip top topity two. And they have one card in hand, so I think we're safe. But we're running out of spirits, guys. We're at eight. We can take a lot. Why didn't we plow an attack? Because uh, I just didn't think plow was that great there. I really need to advance my board. I wanted to hit a land drop. So both at me again, huh? So you can make this three, four. You can make this a five, one. I think we're blocking here, right? Like, it just doesn't make sense. If you make it a four, two, then we trade. So... Yeah, we'll block here, block here. Yeah, that actually seems great. If you want to trade Violing for, or Brightling for Corsair of Crucifix, that's totally fine. You got it. Yeah, that was actually a great turn. <laughs> if that's all they're going to do. I don't think they have anything else in hand. This is a cryptic command? Are you looking to tap my team and sure. I mean it's pretty fine. Do you take plow under? I bet you take plow under. Oh wow. What did you take? Oh, you Ugin? Sure. Give me that land. Vraska. Vraska. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually skull clamp. Vraska. Kill this. Plow under seems decent here, but how do we get rid of this? That is the question. We can bounce it, actually. So one two, three, four, five. You got it. Create a wolf. Equip you. Let's go to combat and make you waste the mana. Bounce you. And attack Elspeth with both of these dudes. And this should be the beginning of the end. They're going to draw two lands, and they have Vendillion Click in hand. So uh, They floated the mana in case we bounced it with Caracas so that they could replay it. That that actually was a situation where it actually made sense. Um, the problem is we're not going <laughs> to we're not gonna bounce it while you still have the mana floating. So. And now, like, you can't actually attack with anything because of our wolf token, which is pretty insane. 
uh, yield until next end step, which is actually right now. Yep, and you're going to draw another land, so that's cool. Oh, they did not do it. Interesting. Let's add a green. This is fascinating. Can I just draw the crater hoof here and kill them? Huh. Interesting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then everything gets plus four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have the mana for it. Everything gets plus five. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Because with this guy leaves, but then we have actually this guy doesn't leave. We're gonna we're gonna sack the new tokens. So we have. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 5, 10, 15. So it's 30 damage. They could block, I guess. Also, if there's a land, it's pretty good. However, if there's a land, we actually don't even want to play it because... Like, they pretty much have to block with everything, I believe. And they don't actually have enough to kill us, right? So this is, what, 6, 12, 18, 28... 35. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> and we know their hand is Vendillion Click. So if they Vendillion Click and they pump this guy up to up the butt for two more, three more, it's six, seven, eight. Uh, and that's still not enough. So. Oh, also, this guy has Death Touch. So, yeah, that's going to be the game. Man, Crater Hoof Behemoth uh, is a really ridiculous card. Are we 2-0? Wow, that's pretty good. This deck is uh, turning out pretty well. The Mackle is... So, I can't believe we're, this is only... God, these matches have gone really slow. I can't believe this is still the first draft. This is a long one. Usually we're done by like 109. Oh, my takeaway horizon for us. It won't. Oh, this is a good hand. I'm a big fan of this one. Just kidding. Not a big fan. Mulligan. Eh, this is not better, but whatever. I'm going to bottom this because we want something like Signet or a Sylvan Carry added or something of that nature. I'm pretty sure my desk fan is dying, which is sad because it's pretty vital in these hot Florida summer days. It was like 16 bucks on Amazon, if that, though, so. Spiraling? Are they? Is that true? Oh, wow, they are. My god. Monastery Mentor, huh? It's awkward because you probably wanted to cast the Lotus Petal after you cast the Monastery Mentor. <laughs> I 
I agree. Two, Nanz two lands of Leshnorn is a thumbs up. Wake is a good card, especially with Lingering Souls. So, we'll see. Yeah, I'll just take five here. I can't foresee us chump blocking either of these idiots. No offense to these idiots. Wow, we can't do anything. We need double black and a green here. This is really bad. I mean, maybe they're just out of mana, though. Or out of spells, rather. Did you respond to my email already? Uh, Did I? I thought I might have. But I also might be unsure. This is really awkward. I'm having a bad time. I didn't even see your message. What, did you have a chance to look at my question? Black Cross, what was your question? I see hello Frank in chat and then you say, did you have a chance to look at my question? And I don't see a question. Oh boy. Uh, PM where? On Twitch? I literally never check my Twitch PMs. Wow. I, I really don't think that guy looks like me at all, except for he has hair and a beard. Yep, we're gonna go to the next game here. This is, uh, not looking great. Literally looks just like... I don't think that looks like me at all. Uh, Bone Shredder's coming in. Billy, what are you saying? What's going on? What's going on right now? We're going to have to cut a card here. I don't know what's cut. Um, I'm actually going to cut the plow under here. Mustache Mountain is a good name. Is that his name? Oh, it's literally on a shirt. That's pretty hilarious. Let's play first. Yikes. Again, no white sources. This is really weird because we have enough mana. Like, we have enough. We have seven white sources in our deck. So it's really weird that we're like we're not hitting white sources. And we have like six black sources, which means we should likely hit a black source. But we have not. Oh, that's pretty good. That is a white source. I think we just got significantly uh oh, well, that was what we were gonna find with this, so. I don't like this guy because he dies to Lightning Bolt, but so does Garrick. It can also get countered pretty easily here. I'm pretty sure our opponent is searching for their their 16th trophy. Yep, that's exactly what we're afraid of. Hmm. Well, I 
If we could get a white source, God, Verdant Catacombs would be so better if we had like Temple Garden or Godless Shrine or any of the corollaries to that. So salty about lack of so I am. I am. I wish I had I wish I had a way to keep track of my silver trophies. Cause I have a bunch. I bet I, I bet I could outdo this guy in gold trophies with my silver trophies. I mean if they have like chain lightning here, it's pretty bad. Or if they have Yikes. Yep. I'm just gonna always yield to this. I don't foresee us uh responding to prowess and monastery mentor triggers. Yeah, we're definitely trading a beast for this guy. No white source here is pretty brutal. I would love a white source right now so we can... Yeah, does that do it? I don't know. I think it does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. If They don't have a counter spell here. Uh, one, two, three... Come on, resolve one time. Boo! That'll do, buddy. That'll do. Well, seems good. Yeah, also seems good. Damage is done, though. Relic order one time. Okay. Casual dupe. Boy. God, I feel like we work so hard for nothing. Come on, we can do this. We got things. Ugin. Lingering Souls is not terrible. Oh, that T-Rex sweater. I always feel sad for the T-Rex with the short arms. He's so limited in life. Uh, why not swing with Quagmire? Because we want to keep Quagmire back to protect the Garrick. And be able to block this guy. Uh, I think being able to get to Overrun is more important than... You know, trying to kill Tefri over six turns. But, you know. Come on, Ugin. Oblivion Ring? Well, that's pretty alright. Oh, you're just going to force of will. Hard cast a force of will. No, don't do that. Use this. Hissing quagmire. Attack all at Teferi and keep you back home. And if you want to trade duplicate for hissing quagmire, I'm okay with it. Sure. Yeah, so that was much better. Like, I'd rather do that, because now we don't have to worry about protecting a Garrick. I guess we could have actually done it last turn, because we had the Spirits, but... Well, 
Oh, wow. Now I'm wishing I played that land. Jeez. That seems good for us. What do I know? Yeah, if we played that forest, it'd be great, because then we can actually use this Assassin's Trophy. A plains! What a time to be alive! Eight, so we can play we can play Marari's Wake for five and then still have six mana left over. One, two, three, four, five, and then we have two black two. That's actually pretty good. Let's just go bone charter pulse or trophy. Sure. Up your storm count here. Do they just not play anything? That'd be pretty funny. I don't foresee that being the case, though. So they they went like Lotus Petal Coalition Relic. Fascinating. This is likely getting countered, but... What? <laughs> well then, this is... All right then. Teferi, 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 your face, your face. Well, this is, this is very interesting. I don't actually think we're going to play anything else here. I don't think we need to. And we can keep Trophy up. We'll lead with Bone Shredder to see if opponent pauses. Yeah, that's actually a good, a good strat. Well, I want to attack with three things, because if they were able to kill one, I still wanted Teferi to die. So I added a green. That seems random. I don't know if they have any green spells. They might just actually be adding a green because they don't have anything. Like, there's no way they have like six lands in hand, right? This is all very strange. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They've settled the wreckage. That'd be hilarious. Does not seem like a subtle wreckage. Burst lightning kicked. Sure. Oh, actually, we need to tap two lands in one of these things.
just in case. And we still have Quagmire and Bone Shredder if they like Quagmire is a three three now, so it's a two turn clock. Oh, all right, cool. Well, not bad. Probably bringing in Relic Order, but they have a bunch of answers for it. Is the problem they have like a bunch of. This is also why we don't want like Banisher Priest in the deck. Wow, I can't believe how long these matches have taken. This is exhausting. I think our deck is good. So not pro red right now because he is red. Pro black and pro green, irrelevant colors. I almost like bringing on like Bringas and and history and just like going. We brought Bone Shredder in because of Monastery Mentor, but I don't even know if it's good enough for just a Monastery Mentor. I'm bringing Burmaz. And I'll add one more white source just, just to be... I also kind of like Field of Ruin instead of Library, but I think it's too late for that, so... Alright, so this is a great hand if we can hit one land, and then two lands just makes it nutso in the butt so. Yeah, okay. Bottom. This is super slow. Not so in the butt so yeah that's what that's right that's what I said. We have mulliganed a lot of hands. One two three four five six. This is nice because we get to draw a card next turn, and then we get to unmulligan. Oh God, is it going to be monastery mentor again? Jesus. Oh, into a mox. Seems good. Oh, boy. Good times. Never not a good time with the old monastery mentor. The mentor of the monastery. So we get to draw, then draw again. They're not playing anything, which is very fascinating to me. Counter this Garrick and make another guy. Baby. Let's get into a fight. That worked out pretty well. <laughs> Surprisingly well. All right. And this is why I'm a bigger fan of Garrick than Harmonize, because it actually gets rid of problematic creatures like this. Jake, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. Let's add a green. Let's also draw a card and just bury you in it.
Wow, to our face. Fascinating. Have you done your Christmas present for me yet? Uh, not yet. No, I haven't had a chance yet, actually. Um, I'll probably do it sometime this week or next week. And um, it actually gives me a good chance to play Black White Control because I'm probably going to... Oh, fascinating. Well, that is definitely terrifying. Well. That's scary. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Yep, that's terrifying. Do we have any way to draw a card? I don't think so. Yep, Caracas is a card. Does nothing here, but it is a card, I acknowledge. Oh, boy. <laughs> the problem with Suiciding Beast is that they draw two. It's not fun. No, Sphinx is not legendary. Could just steal five here. We did. And make another beast. I think with our mana production now, it's probably better to just play a Nissa. And then make a 5-5. Five, five. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're losing a Consecrated Sphinx here. Bolting our face again. So that's three. Four, five, six, seven. So we get a five. What's up, Wally? Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Time spiral. Seems good. Oh, man. Well, if we get to untap, I feel okay. Well, this is fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen mana. So this is eight. Wow. Seems good. If you drew burst lightning as well. Yeah, you're just gonna kill us here. Sure. Yep, seems good. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the YouTube video. So if you're watching on Twitch, don't go anywhere. But if you are watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Links are in the description below. Please also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore if you need anything like that. If you're looking for underwear, socks, tees, lounge pants, onesies, anything like that. Super comfortable. Micromodal fabric. And uh, you won't regret it. You'll get free shipping and free returns as well. And 15% uh, off. Also, check out Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. The link is in the description below as well. His stuff is amazing, and with promo code FRANK, you will get 10% off. So be sure to check that out as well. 
Uh, on that note, I'll be... I'm not what I was going to say there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate the support. I'll see you next time.